So this demo is going to go a little bit further um, and talk about actually some more basic tools as well as some more complex tools in After Effects to uh, use for motion graphics. So uh, right here we're just kind of going in and I already have a project going. I'm going to go new composition. Let's call it Comp 1. Make sure 1080 uh, HDTV 1080 25 and then choose a background color. Um, from here what we want to do, uh, I'm going to show you a couple things, just some basic stuff uh, right off the bat here. So I'm just going to create a square. Um, this one has, obviously has a stroke. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about was just how to use your rotation tool. Um, so it's this little uh, spinny looking thing over here. This allows you to rotate, um, which we hadn't really talked about before. Um, and I think that's a useful tool. Uh, you can keyframe rotation just like anything else. If you go to transform, you have position, scale, opacity. Uh, so right now, if I wanted this thing to maybe uh, start, I'll turn on my keyframe. I want it to start. Or I want it to look like All right. start it there, and then okay, by the time it gets to here, I want it to have rotated fully. Um, then let's say maybe I also want it to get bigger, so I'll also turn on scale, say right there, be that size, this point, be, uh, you know, maybe full screen or something like that. And then we have this movement, so fairly simple. Um, so that is our rotation tool, uh, pretty useful one there. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about real quick, I'm just going to back out here, is, uh, you know, we've had some issues with our anchor points, and one thing you can see right here, my anchor point... Uh, right there. This is actually the point that this thing's rotating around. And so right now it's kind of rotating a little bit off center. Um, what you can do is actually click on the layer, go up to uh, layer, transform, and then say center anchor point layer content. So as long as you're on the layer, it'll center the anchor point within that layer. And that's just a good way to kind of get yourself back to, uh, you know, a perfect centering. And then, you know, you can also go to align and center it there as well. So a uh, nice little trick there uh, that I kind of started messing around with and figure that out. So two kind of new things there just to use for designing. Um, in addition, I'll just kind of talk a little bit more about all right, if I wanted something to rotate around an anchor point. Um, so you can see this one. I'm just going to duplicate this layer. So it'll do the same thing. All right, I'm holding down shift so that locks right next to it. Uh, except this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my anchor point be in a different spot. So this time I'm going to move So you see how I put my anchor point on this corner. Now what's going to happen is this thing when it rotates is rotating around that corner versus the center of the object. So what I have first spinning around the middle and the second one is spinning around that corner. So wherever you put that anchor point is what it's going to rotate around, move around, etc. Um, and I think that's something important to know is just how to use those anchor points. Um, one way that you can do that, um, and I'm going to show you with a piece of text here, is so I'm going to go and just kind of click off and make a new uh, layer and I'm just going to create hello All right. first off take a quick look at where is your anchor point okay mine's in the corner that's not where I want it so I'm going to go to layer transform center anchor point to layer content um, what I'm going to have this piece of text do though uh, and I'm going to shrink this up a little bit what I have this piece of text do is uh, swing forward and backward. Um, so it, it almost looks like a sign hanging on a post. Uh, so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to go and I'm going to set my anchor point first. So I'm going to transform. Okay, where do I want my anchor point at? I want it up top. Okay. And now I can just go put this thing back in place because I wanted it centered. Right. You can use your align tools for that as well. All right. And so it's going to swing back and forth on that, on that point. Um, from here... Um, you know what, I'm going to maybe move this forward a little bit so it'll be in front of the box here. And, yeah, you know what, I'm going to keep it where it was. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do something called a 3D camera to be able to, to, be able to animate this. Um, so first thing, anything that I want to be in 3D, I need to turn on a 3D. So you see this cube right here. It says it allows this layer to work in 3D. I'm actually going to turn that on for every single uh, one of my layers. Um, you don't necessarily need to, but then you're not going to be able to do 3D stuff with it. So I'm going to turn that on. All right. 
The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Layer, New, and I'm going to create a null object. Okay, and it's just going to pop up. It's not going to be anything visible. I'm going to actually make this thing a little bit bigger. So it's essentially an invisible object. You know, that's really all it is. Go up to Layer, Transform. Oops. Layer, Transform, Center Anchor Point. Content. Okay, so there is my null object. Okay, just an empty, empty object. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this thing to control my camera. Okay, so I'm going to actually leave this thing go the entire time. Uh, you can see there's null one, right? Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go layer new, and I'm going to say camera. All right, now I'm not going to talk real uh, in depth about this. I'm just going to leave it kind of as is. So I'm going to hit OK. You can see now I have a camera and a null object. All right, now the camera is 3D. Um, we're going to say, okay, we're going to make the null object work in 3D as well. Um, if I go to, let's see, transform for my camera, you can see now, because this is all 3D, um, I have X, Y, and Z rotation. So um, X, if you're rotating on an X, you're rotating, um, let's see, it's like kind of forward, backward, right? Uh, y, side to side. Um, on that Z axis. Uh, so I think we actually want to rotate this thing on an X axis, but we're not quite there yet. So I'm going to uh, leave that. All right. Um, what I'm actually going to do though, is I'm going to do something called parenting. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make it a little bit easier to control that camera. So this little swirly thing here, that is a parent thing. What I'm going to say is I want that to be a parent of something else. So I'm going to click and drag and attach it there. So now, whatever my uh, null object does, my camera is going to do, all right? And let's see. I want to see this thing. What I want to see what camera one is seeing. All right. So go into transform. So I'm going to close on my camera, and I'm only using my null object. So transform. Guess we're just gonna leave it. Uh, maybe I, I shouldn't have changed the null object size. I'm just gonna leave it as that square. I thought I could uh, zoom that in, but apparently that is not a good idea. So I'm not gonna do that. Okay, instead, we're just gonna start kind of animating this. Let's make sure that our hello, the anchor point's still up at top. And what I'm gonna do here is on my null object, I'm gonna go to my X and I'm gonna turn on my X rotation keyframes for uh, the camera, or I'm sorry, not for the camera, for the hello text. Okay, so that's what we're, that was probably part of the problem that I was doing before. So I'm gonna bring this back. I'm gonna say, all right, X orientation. All right, at zero, what do I want it to look like? I'm gonna make it look like that. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here too. Move forward a little bit. All right, and at that point, I want this hello text to swing backwards. Okay, and I'm just messing with the X number on the next screen. Swing forward, next screen, swing back, oops, swing backwards, next screen, swing forward, and then, okay, this whole time maybe I'm going to do also a scaling, or a positioning, so at zero, it's going to be there, it's going to be doing that all the way up until about here, I'm going to create a new keyframe, just using my keyframe creator over here on the left, and I'm going to say between there and this point, what do I want this thing to do? I want it to drop off. Let's go ahead and watch that hello text. Swing, swing, and then it drops out. Okay, now if I want that stuff to go faster, then what I want to do is just move these things a little bit tighter in. Shrink my whole animation. Let's see what that looks like. Boom. Okay. I think this actually is the thing that needs to be a little bit quicker. Just the following part. All right, and then you want to right click them and maybe do an easy ease on it. Okay. Let's take a look at that. Boom. Looks good. Okay. Another new trick here. When something moves, we can blur it. 
Okay, and how do I blur something? On whatever layer I want to blur, I go into this little thing and I turn it on. And that's motion blurring. So I'm going to turn that on. And now, when this thing moves, it's also going to blur. So you can kind of see it's very subtle, but um, as it kind of moves off screen there, it's blurring a little bit. Um, so that's kind of a nice little uh, toy there. Um, let's see. Going back to our 3D camera here, I'm going to go to my null object. And I'm actually going to turn on my X, Y, and Z orientation for null 1. Um, and basically what I'm doing here is showing you what I can really keyframe. All right, so I have that, that text um, you know, stand there, but I can have this thing rotate around it. So I'm going to have it maybe rotate on Y axis. and that, So this thing is actually in 3D space now. I'd right, say I want it to go up a little bit. And again, I'm using the null object because I can see where it's at. Um, if I really wanted to, I could actually grab the null object. Okay. Um, you can also keyframe scale too, which I believe should let us zoom in. Let's see if that holds true. Let's start there. Reposition. All right, and then let's see. Boom. All right, so that's pretty good. Maybe I'll keep that a little bit further back so that it kind of happens over time. And then that thing will swing around and then fall out. Okay. Um, just heads up for text. When you click on text, you do have options over, let's see, on the side here to change color. So if I want to change the inside of that, make it a different color, I should be able to. On it. There we go. You can also change my stroke color and my stroke font, or my stroke weight is right there as well. Okay. Um, I think that's it for this demo, and the next one will cover a few more things, um, including masking.